The Biden administration is stepping in to help with contract talks between railroads and unions. There is a push to find an agreement before the railway workers go on strike, and that's possibly as soon as this Friday. Skylar Henry has more. Mr. President, can you come talk to us about the railroad negotiations? No. President Biden may not have wanted to talk about it, but he says his administration is working to avert a strike that would shut down the nation's railroads. Negotiators are working to reach a new deal by Friday. We have made crystal clear uh, to the interested parties the harm that American families, businesses and farmers and communities would experience if they were not to reach uh, a resolution. Labor Secretary Martin Walsh is meeting with railroad executives and union leaders in D.C. this morning. The two sides are still at odds over sick time and attendance policies. 30% of all U.S. freight shipments could be impacted if there is a strike, putting further strain on the overwhelmed supply chain at a time when Americans are already dealing with inflation. There's just no question that it would be extremely devastating and its impacts would compound very rapidly over a couple of days. A federal law on the books actually allows Congress to step in and prevent railway workers from striking but Democratic leaders say they aren't going to go down that road. Let me tell you, first and foremost, I don't believe that's a good idea. I believe that the unions, as well as the railroads, uh, should step up to the plate and get this done quickly. Senator Jerry Moran, who said he's worried about farmers being able to ship their crops, says Congress should act. I will utilize my opportunities as a member of the Senate, as a member of Congress, for congressional intervention, intervention and work to shield the impact of a rail shutdown across the nation. The Biden administration says it's working on contingency plans, including adding more truckers to the struggling trucking industry to keep goods moving. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Now, a railway strike could also lead to higher gas prices for everyone because trains carry so much oil from refineries to their parts of the country. Well, a bill essentially banning all abortions in West Virginia with limited exceptions is a signature away from becoming law. The West Virginia House and Senate both passed abortion bills. Now, there are exceptions for fetal anomaly, anomalies, excuse me, medical emergencies, and non-viable fetuses. Those still remain. And there are also still exceptions for rape and incest, but those cases are now restricted up to eight weeks for adults and 14 weeks for minors. Any legal abortion would have to be performed in a hospital Hospital, and Governor Jim Justice has 15 days to sign or veto the bill. If he does nothing, it would become law and become effective immediately. And in a surprise move, defense attorneys for Nicholas Cruz has rested their case, prompting a sharp disapproval from the judge. Now, jurors are currently considering whether what punishment Cruz, who is 23, should face in the connection with the mass shooting in 2018 at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High during a Valentine's Day massacre that left 17 people dead and 17 others hurt. Cruz is facing the death penalty, and his lawyers had sought to raise questions about his mental health in an effort to sway jurors to go with life in prison instead. Now, Cruz did not take the stand during the penalty phase of that trial.